Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Naughty Tons. Alan is from Hamsa Sudan. How are you all? I hope you all are good. I will discuss today about the English requirement for this uh, master program in Sweden 2020. I will discuss more about like a little bit deep of the requirements because some people are confused. So I, 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 will, I will try to make, clear, make it clear because uh, there are some questions that I already received from some students, those who are not clear about the English requirements. So the first point is those who are already graduated from English literature or English linguistic or have a bachelor honors degree in English as a main subject. And then second of all, I will discuss about those who are like having a degree, uh, not in Bangladesh, but other outside of Bangladesh. What, uh, what is the English equivalent for that? And uh, another is that uh, if you are graduated in Bangladesh, what is the requirement then? So uh, this uh, video is applicable for not only for Bangladeshi students, but also outside of the world because there are lots of students who are requesting me to make this video in English. So I will make this video in English and I think uh, lots of uh, students from Africa, uh, from Asia, they will be benefited as well. Okay, first of all, I will start about the English requirement, those who are graduated in English literature or those who have a bachelor in honor English as a main subject. Okay, so the thing is that universityadmissions.se, which, which is controlled all the applications uh, for Sweden master's program, they have a requirement that uh, from Bangladesh, we, who, those who are graduated from Bangladesh, they must have like English, uh, international English language test like ILTS, uh, TOEFL or uh, Cambridge Soul or Michigan or PT Pearson or some other uh, international English uh, language test uh, certificate. But those who are graduated in honors as a English as a main subject, of course, they should have honors uh, in bachelor. They don't need this requirement. They, didn't, they don't need ILTS or TOEFL or other things. That's the universityadmissions.se, they said. But when I went through so many universities' webpage, those who have like uh, the master program subject course for English literature, linguistics, or uh, some other master program in English uh, grammar of uh, American style or something, I saw that uh, the requirement is quite high, uh, even if uh, universityadmissions.se doesn't need that. For example, like Stockholm University. Stockholm University, they have an English literature uh, master's program and other, uh, other English uh, uh, master program subject. And if you choose the subject, if you go to specific entry requirement, and then you will see that the entry requirement is ILTS 7.5. It's a more than that requirement because of you are already very good at English. You will have a very depth knowledge in English uh, literature or some linguist uh, when you will be uh, in the master's program included in Stockholm University. So when you will apply for the Stockholm University English uh, master's course for English literature or some other courses, English as the main subject, then you must have 7.5 and not less than 7 in any value score. So this is the requirement for Stockholm University. Then, so there are some other, like Linus University. Linus University, they said that we need a 7 in ILTS if anyone who, who wants to have a master's program in English. So uh, we want 7 and not less than 6.5 from other value score, like listening, speaking, writing, and reading. There are some other university I went through, like uh, Lund University and uh, Malmo University, then Dolarna University. So this university has the requirement, at least you have to have English 6, like 6.5 in the total band score. And in every score band, band you have to have a not less than 5.5. So the thing is that even if universityadmissions.se say that if you are graduated English as a main subject, you should not have any IELTS, but when you are applying through the university, they have a specific entry requirement. The only one university that I got that uh, you don't need to any like uh, uh, IELTS or something uh, if you want to do any master's program in uh, as, as a main subject for, for English uh, is Uppsala University. If you apply Uppsala University for the master's program in English, you don't need to fulfill any kind of English language, international language test. Okay, so I think you are clear enough that even if you are graduated in English as a main subject from Bangladesh, you don't need to have IELTS, but when you go through to the university specific entry requirement, you need to have IELTS. So in a way, you have to have IELTS. So those third person or the agent or some other 
person, those who are working with the admission process, if they're t telling you that, uh, no, you don't need IELTS, then you need to have a very clear clarification that why you don't need IELTS, okay? If they're applying in Uppsala University, you don't need to. But if they're, they are applying Dalarna University or Lund University, Malmo University or Linus University, Stockholm University, this university has this subject, English as a main subject for master's program. So if they're applying for this university, then you must have IELTS or International English Language Test System certificate, okay? Now, those who are like uh, not graduated from Bangladesh, outside of Bangladesh, if they need any IELTS or International English Language Test Certificate or not, the answer is that if you are like uh, having 60 ECTS, that European Credit Transfer System, if you have 60 ECTS, you, you have completed from the country, EU, European Union, EEA, European Economic Areas, USA, New Zealand, Australia, and Jamaica and some other parts of like English as a main, main language of Canada if you are graduated from there and you completed 60 ECTS from there and this is not more than 10 years then you meet the requirement then you no, don't need to uh, give any ILTS or TOEFL or some other certificates like suppose for example if you are graduated from UK or from Switzerland then you should not have to have any ILTS or TOEFL certificate because you completed there in the between 10 years, you completed from there 60 credits or more than that. Then you don't need to give any ILTS or other certificate. The medium of instruction English certificate will be enough to prove that you are you meet the requirement. Okay, I think that you are more clear now, but uh, I want to tell that uh, those who are like completed 60 CTL, like for example, one guy is from uh, Malaysia, he, he, he completed his degree like uh, in 2015, not more than 10 years from now. So it's uh, only four years. And then he, he completed his degree like uh, from uh, some of the reputed university in Malaysia. How, how he will know that uh, he needs the ILTS or TOEFL or not? He will go to the International Handbook of University. He will search in the Google and you will have this PDF form. And then you will get to know that this uh, handbook, there is a country Malaysia. And then under the Malaysia, you will search the university if it's enlisted or not. If the university enlisted in the International Handbook of University, then you don't need to give any ILTS or other certificates. Medium of instruction English is English is, uh, is okay if you want to apply. Okay? Those who are graduated from Bangladesh, I want to recommend that uh, the university students from Bangladesh, everyone has to have ILTS or TOEFL or some other English language international test requirement except doctors and nurse because I checked by myself and I found that in World Directory of Medical Colleges uh, if this book has your university enlisted then you should not give any ILTS or TOEFL certificate medium of instruction English will be okay for you so for Bangladesh if anyone has like uh, from like Dhaka Medical College or some uh, other private medical college or, but it's uh, enlisted in the World Directory of Medical Colleges then you, you meet the requirement and you should not give any ILTS or TOEFL certificate. The medium of instruction English will be okay. Other rest, all of the students has to have international English language test certificate like ILTS, TOEFL, Cambridge ESOL or PTE Pearson or some other certificates that uh, were mentioned in the university admissions.se. The link is under the video and you can click and you can see what requirement you need. Last but not least that uh, all the students uh, who are like applying this year, uh, I, I prefer that uh, you make your plan a little bit uh, uh, scheduled and uh, I think that uh, you make priority that uh, if you need to sit for the ILTS exam, just do it by December because in January, between 16th of January, there will be a rush from 1st of January to 16th because all of the students from all over, all over the world, they will apply by that day and it will be a little bit traffic in the internet. So I prefer all the students from Bangladesh or from Asia, please schedule a little bit early and then apply by yourself because then you can plan which subject is better for you or not. If you don't have time or to apply, if you don't know if my video is not enough for you or if you are not confident to apply for a master program 2020 in Sweden, please apply by nordicturns.se. Visit www.nordicturns.se and mail us service at nordicturns.se. 
that what is the requirement if you are eligible or not and we will confirm you that if you are eligible then you can apply by no returns.se no returns will help you to apply from the application to the visa application everything and then it's included with the visa application fee and the study application fee so the fees and everything will be included so you will it will be very easy to accommodate if you have office you don't have time to do that or if you are not confident enough or you don't know how to apply if my video is not uh, enough for you to know how to apply then come to noreturns.se and they will help you i prefer that you will be more scheduled more careful no mistakes will be allowed because one mistakes will ruin your application or your visa so no mistakes be careful for the application and make all the documents very clearly okay take care pray for me i will pray for everyone assalamu alaikum allah hafiz